please subscribe. These paddles go to a wood slash coal stove. Uh, it's for shaking the ash. Um, so I'm gonna try repairing these. They're in pretty bad shape, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of just gonna go for it. These are expensive. They're like $150 each. Um, so you look at $300 uh, right there. That cast iron cooking plate underneath those paddles. Uh, I'm going to cut up and use that as the cast iron to build these back up and I'm going to use flux core welding on it. So here's all the uh, cast iron pieces welded in with a flex core. Not very pretty looking, but um, you know, just do what you got to do to get it to work. What I didn't factor in is the width of these paddles fitting into the stove, and that right side one was welded with the uh, piece of cast iron. It was too far out. Um, so I would have to grind that all down. So that was kind of a big oops. These paddles are probably the original that came in with this stove. And they're just, they're really beat. They're beat bad. Um, it was just something I was figured I'd try instead of spending the $300. But in the end... Um, it didn't work out. Um, they were too brittle, so I did replace them and buy uh, two new paddles. 
Um, but other than that, it was good practice. Uh, maybe wasted time, but it was worth a try at least, worth a try. But I did put them in the stove. I was prying with a uh, like a pry bar just to try to fit them and I was prying a little bit on one of the fins there and it just broke right off easily. So I was like, it's, it's just better to replace them. Uh, I should get, you know, at least my use out of them, uh, the brand new ones. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.